Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, where we break down the latest ASX announcements from public companies that are doing interesting things. Today's Bulls and Bears report is brought to you by Aerometrics, ASX code AMX. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now on 6PR by the Managing Director of Aerometrics, Mark Deuter. Hi, Mark. G'day. How are you going, Matt? Good. Aerometrics is a aerial mapping business that specialises in aerial photography and 3D modelling and the company has an interesting laser imaging survey technology known as LIDAR. It carries out most of its work utilising a range of light aircraft, either fixed wing or helicopters, which it uses to survey large swaths of landscape for a varied range of clientele and its annual quarterly recurring revenue numbers from subscribers who pay to use the service have gone nuts in the last year. Mark, we'll get into that in a second, but how exactly does your LIDAR aerial surveying technology work? Uh, yeah, well, it's basically laser mapping from an aeroplane. We're uh, flying around an aeroplane with a high-powered laser on board, firing out up to 2 million pulses every second. And basically, whenever uh, one of those pulses hits something on the ground or near the ground, it reflects back to the aircraft and we measure the distance. So we can build up these very detailed three-dimensional models of what's underneath the aeroplane using this technology. Big announcement out uh, recently. I see that your technology can somehow assist with bushfire mitigation. Is that right? That's correct, yeah. We've developed uh, what we believe is a world-leading service in that area. we combine the best available science that we can find in the literature with the latest available technology, and we've come up with something that is really, truly remarkable. We think it's a world leader. The system actually uh, enables us to map the tree canopy, to map what's underneath the tree canopy, which is the understory or fuel load, vegetation, as well as the terrain surface itself. So we can build up this comprehensive picture uh, of the entire vegetation fuel load. Once we've done that, we can strip away the canopy and just show the understory fuel load. It's the one thing that we can control in a bushfire situation uh, to manage bushfires better. And I see your other product is known as Metro Map, which I'm guessing is a bit like uh, Google Earth. Is that right, firstly? And, and secondly, if so, how does it differ to a Google Earth, for example? Uh, Google Earth is a good analogy. Yeah, it's an online uh, web browser platform. Uh, it differs from Google Earth in that we're actually dealing with much higher resolution imagery and it's updated much more regularly and predictably. And uh, it's uh, available on subscription, so available on an annual or even a monthly subscription service. And just speaking of those subscriptions, I was looking at your annual accounts recently in the lead up to this interview, and it seems that your quarterly revenue figures have gone nuts. Uh, just very quickly, can you tell me what was your quarterly revenue figure for September quarter last year and what was the, the same figure for the September quarter this year? So for Metro Map, it was around 357k uh, previous corresponding period, and uh, for the recent quarter, it just completed, it was $2.75 million. Mark Duter from uh, Aerometrics, thanks very much for joining me on 6PR today. And just remember, Bulls and Bears is only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney. Thanks for listening to Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6PR.com.au and click the Public Companies tab.